Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk some real estate with Mara. I wanted to share uh, some things with you about uh, what a seller's market is and what a buyer's market is. Uh, those terms can be confusing for uh, some people um, and they, they wanna know what exactly does it mean. Um, and also how the pandemic played a part in the current market today and where we're at. Um, so, a seller's market is when the uh, number of homes that are on the market listed for sale is less than the number of buyers that are out there looking to buy. So here's an example um, of what that means. So the red dots on this paper here are the homes for sale. The little blue dots are all the different buyers looking for those homes, and they're all looking at the same number of homes. So as you can see in the seller's market, there are more buyers than homes for sale. So the sellers have the advantage. The sellers have the upper hand, whereas um, they have more offers coming in. They have more options to look at. And um, the buyers have to make their offers stand out. They have to make their offers look better than the next offer and the next 10 offers in some cases. Um, so that is the seller's market. So a buyer's market is exactly the opposite. It's where the number of buyers looking to purchase a home is significantly lower than the number of homes available to buy on the market currently. So in a buyer's market, our, our little uh, scenario looks a little bit different. In the buyer's market, the red dots are the homes for sale. And as you can see, the blue dots, the number of buyers looking for homes in that buyer's market is significantly lower. Um, so the sellers have the disadvantage there. The buyers can kind of say, eh, I don't wanna offer as much because, you know, there's this home down the road and there's that home down the road and there's more to compare with that they have that control, that option to make those decisions in that buyer's market. Um, they may not give as many um, incentives in order to get their offer noticed because they know that um, there's not many people looking. So they don't have the competition. So the advantage is, if, is there for the buyers. Um, now, during the pandemic, um, we saw a number of things happen. The interest rates really, really went through the floor, right? Um, but the, the schematics changed for families um, they changed for people, the needs changed for people. Um, people wanted to move away from congestion. They wanted more space. They wanted more entertaining area. They wanted a little bit more freedom. They were working from home. They were now having their kids at home maybe where they weren't home before. So everybody's needs changed within the family. Um, and they needed something different. A lot of times a different location even because of the ability to work remotely. A lot of people, you know, sold their homes and decided they were moving to uh, sunny, sunny beaches, sunny places, or, um, you know, if they lived here in Pennsylvania, they wanted to move south. They wanted to be somewhere where it was a little warmer most of the time and they could be outdoors more and, and enjoy more uh, space out outside. Um, a lot of people wanted to get uh, larger homes. If they stayed in the area, they wanted to get a larger home, a little bit more space for, you know, junior and um, the princess in the house, you know, to do their, their schoolwork and to have their own space along with play areas or recreation areas for the adults um, and that sort of thing. So needs changed drastically from the pandemic. Um, so interest rates being historically low created that buzz for the buyers. That's why there were so many buyers looking and trying to take advantage because it was a great opportunity to get a home and you could get more home when the interest rates are lower. You can, you can afford more home than you could have before. So many buyers came on the scene because of that. Um, so there's just a, a few different things during the market that contributed to what we currently have for the past couple of years, a seller's market. It is predominantly a seller's market where there's just not as many homes out there, but the number of buyers is still significantly higher than the number of homes being listed. We are seeing more homes listed now. Spring markets usually do 
um, bring out more people wanting to change as the seasons change, wanting to find uh, a new home, different areas. Um, school is ending, so they have that opportunity to to do that at this time. Um, so those are the differences between a seller's market and a buyer's market um, and how the pandemic played out. So um, if you have any other questions or any more um, things you want to know about uh, concerning the market, please let me know and I'll be happy to chat with you personally. Um, but stay tuned for more um, national information on uh, what's happened over the past year. Um, we have information on that coming as well as um, some tips and tricks for staging your home. Um, if you're planning on selling, especially during this tri this spring market, what you can do to make your home stand out versus somebody else's. Um, so stay tuned for that and uh, other opportunities to uh, learn more about different communities in the area that you may want to move to. Talk with you soon.